looking at our cell membrane and we're going to use a humble bubble as our analogy for the cell membrane. So we've just taken some dish detergent and water and made a soap solution and I've made a bubble frame just out of some bendy straws. And when we make our frame, you can see that shine there that I have a bubble and my membrane is thin and flexible. I can bend my frame and the bubble does not pop. Um, it's a little hard to see, but there's a lot of rainbow colors swirling uh, because all of those molecules in our membrane are constantly moving around as we go. And because it's thin and flexible, we can also see it bounce up and down. Oops. There we go. So we can see that thinness and flexibility. So one of our other concepts is the idea that membranes can self-repair. While they are thin and flexible, uh, they do have to move around and allow compounds in and out of the cell. And so if I take just a dry straw and try and put it through the membrane, it will pop. There is no protection for the cell. But if we look at vesicles in our endomembrane system and we coat our object with the bubbles, we can now actually insert the straw through our bubble frame and it will not pop. And I can remove it and nothing happens uh, because the membrane is able to repair itself. So the other thing we've talked about in going into and out of the membrane uh, are our proteins. So we have here a thread you can see it is just a little thread loop and I am going to float it in my bubble. First try. Oh. 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 <laughs> Stay tuned for the outtakes, kids. Oh no. <laughs> the, yeah, it's oh, right oh it's stuck on there. Okay. Oh gosh, which side is the... Uh, it, it's one big loop. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right, so you guys can see here that our thread is imitating a protein. So now I have a hole in my membrane that I can push something through for larger compounds. Oh, and there it goes. Bubble. Nice, so we can see we have a hole that can go through, it can move around uh, and um, Mimicking a protein. All right, we got protein it. channel. Yeah, protein channel. There we go. So when a cell gets too big, it can split its membrane and divide. So our cell membrane, our vesicles can merge into the membrane, but we can also use that for division. And finally, I would just like to show us a little still here of our bubbles. And we can see here a lot of bubbles of various sizes. And sometimes a bubble is inside of another bubble. And that can just show us that our eukaryotic cells, our endomembrane system, um, are made of those membrane-bound organelles. So each bubble here is its own separate container. Uh, and we know that our cell organelles have specialized functions. They each play a different role uh, in compartmentalizing and organizing our eukaryotic cell. But